Hi there, my name is Kyle Gibson. I'm talking to you live, sort of, from the uh, Practical Group for Men in My Stake. And I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about our upcoming radio series, um, which I'm head writer for, and just tell you a little bit about it. I, I've been writing short stories since I was very little, um, and uh, I've done various different projects over the years with you know creative writing in mind but I was working for the Regen County Borough Council and somebody said hey you know do you want to come down and visit the men's shed and see what the guys do and then during the interview process somewhere along the line we came up with the idea of a character called Gwyn who was sort of a widower who was a bit of down on his luck and he was going to the shed for the first time and experiencing what it was going to be like um, being in a new environment and taking on new tasks. And that snowballed completely because meeting the guys here at the shed, you have so many different stories and so many different life experiences that I just couldn't help myself. So we, um, so I wrote a second episode and at the request of um, one of one of my colleagues and a few of the guys in the group, uh, which will be our tribute to the troops episode. Um, currently, I'm work, trying to work my way through the Christmas special, which will be fun. And the reason I think Blue Scars, our, our little show, is uh, important for us is that we get to talk about things that affect men, and that can be anything, really. Um, and we get to tell it from a point of view that... You know, I, I'm very much observing the guys and uh, trying to get an understanding of uh, why they think and, and say things and, you know, um, the kind of experiences that have made them who they are and the kind of things they're interested in. So, you know, uh, the second episode I wrote was very much to do with World War Two and the effects of... Um, that society has on disabled people and you know the main character is somebody who is visually impaired and is not able to join the army which for i think for any uh young man during wartime who wanted to join up that must have been a crushing uh thing to go through so we're very i was very honored to um try and get to tell that story and uh, empower but also address that issue um, it's, I'm not co confident or skilled enough yet to um, to to really um, call myself a satirist, but that's sort of where I'm hoping to head in my own career. And I think this little show um, is gonna is a big opportunity to explore subjects that matter, whether that be uh, gender, um, class, age, race disabilities where you know um all of that the these things which affect not just myself but everybody and if we can address those things and make it interesting and fun for people to listen to then that's that'll be um a wonderful thing to be a part of i think so yeah i hope that uh, you will get a better idea of what our, our uh, little project's about and hopefully you'll listen and enjoy it and we shall speak to you soon. So where you can listen to it is on CalticaRadio.com. It goes out on our monthly uh, Shed Quarters radio show. And also it's, the audio is going to be played out at a local cinema called Strictly Cinema for the uh, viewers to actually have a listening experience as well. And it will also be added to an audio trail that people can follow through MySteg, part of the Memory Walks project.